Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a look into the Word with LP. And I am back from Guatemala. It was an amazing, amazing trip, an amazing experience. I thank the Lord for allowing me to, uh, to go and, and help and do His, do His will. So today, we're going to be in the book of Genesis, the book of Matthew, and the book of Revelation, among others. And uh, I actually wasn't planning on doing a show, but when you get some spiritual revelation, you, uh, you answer. So I was actually reading the book of Genesis, um, and it reminded me when I got to a certain part about uh, Abram being renamed Abraham, about something that's said in Revelation. And then it started to highlight throughout the New Testament of a few other things that happened. So first we're going to go to Genesis 17, verse 3. At this, Abraham fell face down on the ground, and God said to him, This is my covenant with you. I will make you the father of a multitude of nations. What's more, I am changing your name. It will no longer be Abram. Instead, you will be called Abraham, for you will be the father of many nations. I will make you extremely fruitful. Your descendants will become many nations, and kings will be among them. So right here you see the start of God renaming someone. And this kind of highlighted what Jesus says in Revelation. And then we're going to go back into Matthew and see how God doesn't change. So when we go to Revelation, let's see, it is Revelation 2. This is specifically the message to the church of Pergamum. And in this Jesus says, Anyone, uh, this is uh, Revelation 2, verse 17. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give some of the mana that has been hidden away in heaven. And I will give to each one a white stone. And on that stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it. I found that interesting. So you have Jesus telling the churches, uh, this one in specific uh, Pergamum, that they will be given a name to only they will understand. And that kind of brings us back to what happened with Abraham. But let's go back into the New Testament, and you start to see this happening quite often. When Jesus told the disciples, Elijah has come, it was John the Baptist. More so when you see the renaming of Simon. You know, a lot of times people look back, well, why do they have all these different names? Or Saul was renamed Paul. You start to see something. There was a understanding when this name was given to them of who they truly were, right? Abraham renamed Abraham in regards to the father of all these nations. Saul renamed Paul when he under, underwent that transformation, became a... a a true believer, and look at the preaching that he did that changed the world. And I'm just going to quote from Matthew. Uh, this I just always love this part too, Matthew 16. And this is going to be, let's just start with, Peter says Jesus is the Messiah. This is going to be Matthew 16, verse 13. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? Well, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah. And others say Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. Then he asked them, but who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. Whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. So I found that interesting. That's why I love the word of God. It does not change. It shows the consistency of our Father. You go all the way back to Genesis, and it shows how God stays the same. He was giving these individuals a different name that they could understand when that name was given to them. And then you fast forward to Revelation, and it talks about the letter to Pergamum, where it actually says, a new name will be given written on the right stone where only that individual understands. And you see this throughout many examples in the New and Old Testament, where the renaming of Saul to Paul, the renaming of Simon to Peter, 
uh, John the Baptist was actually Elijah. So you see the consistency of the Word of God. Uh, why is this exciting? Well, it shows we're not sure what we're going to become, but we're following Christ in faith. And so you see these other individuals, they underwent a change because of their faith. They kept on following the Lord. And at the point where he decided, that name was given to them, which is an amazing, amazing thing. We live in a different time now, and I, I can tell you right now in truth, uh, the issues that are happening in this country are happening all over the world, uh, meaning the spiritual influence, the demonic aspects of things of how it's affecting people, the same hopelessness that's affecting people in this country are affecting people in other countries. I can speak firsthand about this because I've seen it. So these are the times in truth where we're to follow the Lord before these things have become apparent to the world. And if you feel that unction in your spirit each day that you're growing, grow in truth, stay constant in prayer, uh, make sure you read the Word of God daily because, yes, that, that's our food. It's not something where it's like, oh, I'll read it once a week. Whatever we're feeding more, if you're feeding the flesh more, it's going to grow. If you're feeding the spirit more, that's going to grow. So again, as you feel more and more distant from the world, you're undergoing a positive change. Jesus said, come out of the world so you don't have to partake in her plagues. When you understand the meaning of that, you understand why these things are happening to the world and why we were told to come out of it. So I hope this message finds you well. Always grateful for another day of fellowship. I will see you next time on A Look Into the Word. God bless.